Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Easter Bunny's Big Day, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, this Let's Play is becoming a little bit more out of touch given that Easter is long over. However, I would like to finish this game in its entirety. Granted, it was in hard mode, so I deserve my uh, 72 virgins when I die, okay? Remember that, everyone. You can bury a few alive. I don't care. Alright, so let's just continue this puzzle, and we're pretty much almost through the halfway point of hard mode. Again, just be thankful I did not do expert mode. I would have lost my mind even further. I'm pretty sure most of you guys would have as well. Some of you already have. Through part one. Some people were actually against this being an active Let's Play, but I mean... Approach this with an open mind. I mean, at least I'm doing something different. Some people do too much of the same. And again, that goes into the ripple effect that sometimes doing things different and bizarre could reap big benefits for your channel. You'd be surprised. Besides, if I haven't done play with the Teletubbies that many years ago, would I have enjoyed this much success? Probably not. I'd probably just another YouTube channel that does like old overplayed games. My popularity would not be as good. It's actually a pretty nice bridge. Where's this to? Is this like in uh, Australia or something? Like Sydney? I'm pretty sure somebody watching this video might actually recognize that bridge from somewhere. Maybe they even crossed that bridge themselves. If there's one good thing out of this game, at least they get some very nice photos. They're not completely Easter related, even though there's an Easter egg right here. Though that could actually be just a street light that looks like an Easter egg. Again, still a very nice touch. Or maybe these eggs were photoshopped in, even though maybe Photoshop wasn't even around at this time. Makes you wonder. Okay, this must be concentration again. Yep, of course. Remember, it's level 6, so they probably made it a little bit harder. By making the music even more intolerable, it seems. Alright, let's get started. Here, we can only hit them from the sides. Oh, white bunny is over here. The good thing is, even while the eggs are cracking, you can still move. Oh my god, that green bunny is hideous. That's a demon bunny. I come for your brains and your carrots. That one looks like a big tough guy. Oh wait, the yellow one's over here. Oh, that's a chicken that thinks it's a bunny. Oh, there's a blue one. And this one... Oh, there we go! We pretty much got it solved. And pink bunny over here. Done. Alright, so we got through like the first half of the game in its entirety. I'm actually surprised at myself for getting this far. Oh, M, you know what that means. Motion puzzle. We'll be doing that one after this. Ah, uh, 64. Oh my god, the pieces are shaped like this. I don't know how I feel about that. He almost hurt my eyes. With music that hurts my ears. And my ass. Because my... My butthole is literally clenching to the point it's inside out. There is your mental image of the day, kids. Okay, so we're gonna get through this. Trust me on this one. 
mean, we already got through like 11 pieces, so that accounts for something, right? Oh, there we go. I see we know where this goes. I said we know where this goes. There we go. Then I hovered over that spot. Apparently the game doesn't agree with me. Eh, we'll save that piece for net later. Oh. Okay, I was nowhere near that. But, yeah, game, you can give that to me to get me out of there faster. Okay, so... What should I do, like, after I finish this Let's Play? Like, how should I reward myself? Okay, apparently that was a good spot. So come up with as many creative ideas as possible. I mean, seriously. I enjoy your creativity. I really do. The input to my fans is very important. You know, you don't have to be fans of me. You can still give your input regardless. I believe in freedom of speech. But I also have the freedom to ignore or block you if it happens to be very derogatory. It's in my rights. <laughs> okay, so far so good with this puzzle. It's actually coming along smoothly. Okay, where does this piece go? Oh, that's part of the landscape. Oh, everything just blends too much. You just can't tell anymore. Well, at least that part was easy to get. What more can you actually say with a game like this, really? You play a game so long, even if it's an RPG or a platformer, you run out of things to say unless you're doing something completely different. This is no different, it's just more of the same. Okay, beautiful. More than half the puzzle is done. That piece is a bit too small, so I don't think I'll be able to figure out where that goes yet. Up, oh, there we go. Maybe not so many gaps, though. That could actually come back to backfire. Because all that's left are going to be pieces that are shaped the same. It becomes even more difficult to solve them. pieces just blend right in. It's hard to pick them out now. Okay, there we go. Oh, the pieces are just so small. But we're getting through it slowly but surely. Filling in these gaps. Music, again, doesn't really help things. It's making you want to finish it as soon as possible, then you end up making more mistakes. Good thing making mistakes doesn't really, like, penalize you for time, and then you actually have to redo the entire puzzle because you took way too many errors. That would have been even worse. So kudos to uh, Masti for not doing that to you. Very forgiving in that regard. Okay, some of these pieces are actually pretty easy to understand now. Keyword, some of them. Oh, that, that was it. Are they actually throwing in some fake pieces? It seems like some of these pieces are supposed to fit, but they don't. It's leading me to believe this game is trying to troll me.
okay, maybe there aren't any fake pieces. But it seems like I'm trying to fit the pieces where they're supposed to go, but they don't lock in. Maybe it's just playing with my mind. It's almost to the point where I might have to start rotating them. As far as we haven't got there yet. Oh, there's a border piece. It's just tucked right in the bottom. Just that many lines together hurts your eyes. Ugh, thank god that one's over. And hopefully the uh, motion puzzle does not have more than 16 pieces. Remember the first one was pretty forgiving that it gave you a border. Yeah, this one gives you a border too. I think they pretty much have to. I've noticed that sometimes the puzzle gets a bit framey. Like when you have motion puzzles. Okay. The music is still pretty tacky. At least it's a pretty good hint. I mean, the eggs only go like horizontally, they can't go vertically. So once you see an egg, you know it's gotta go... Wait, oh, it's over here! Oh, that's a border piece. I shouldn't be screwing that up. And this goes over here. So that one is actually pretty simple to get. You just have to pay attention to where the eggs are. In proportion to the row and the column. So they're making it easy on you to some extent. Oh, that goes over here. Oh, that's a border piece. You couldn't even tell where that border was. It seems like the game gets framey, like it just slows down or stops at random. Oh, it goes over here. This should go over here. Okay, we're clearing out this border completely, thankfully. It almost seems like the game just lags whenever the music stops and has to re-loop. They couldn't even get like a smoothing loop for this. Like the hell? You probably bought this game for like maybe 20 bucks and the game's music probably cost five bucks to make. And they probably had to get it out of a box of cereal. Oh my god. If they got it from a box of cereal. I'm never eating cereal again. Oh, what am I kidding? I love cereal. You know, especially if you're drinking the milk. Depending on what kind of cereal you have, the milk is actually the best part. Oh. It's over here, I believe. Again, it's hard to see the borders now. Jeez, it's hurting my eyes. We got run row completely done. Now if only we can get the whole puzzle done. Oh, now the row is done. This goes over here. And this should go over here. Oh, pick up the piece. Because the game gets choppy with the motion puzzles, you think you're going to grab a piece, but you don't. Oh, we got through that in a hurry. Yeah, you better not lag and tell me I cleared it. Well, tell me I cleared it, but don't lag. Okay, there's very few parts of the game left. Only like ten more puzzles, and then we'll be done with the game. So sit tight, boys and girls, we got this far. 
we're gonna go to the toy shop. Hopefully it reeks of lead paint, given what we've had to go through. Done! You can play again, but you... Oh, wait. I've already been here? I've already done this. Oh. Okay. I thought I started all the way to the left. Oh, only the flower shop is left, it seems. Oh, yeah, that's probably another building we need to unlock. Good thing that game actually gave me a warning. I should have noticed that little logo. Oh, God, this puzzle. This one looks hideous and pretty confusing. There's so much white. That sounded a bit racist. Thank God I'm not African American when I said that. But then again, I think only white people can be racist. That's what the media tells you. Which is a sad thing to say. Buy it. Okay, so far so adequate. Ah, figured I had to be like on the right side. Clearing out the top row completely done. Beautiful. Every bit at a time helps. But that's pretty obvious. You're doing a puzzle. Where's every bit's gonna help? You're not gonna lose progress just by putting pieces in. That'd be ridiculous. Probably part of the sand castle. You know that thing that's a sand castle. You tell me what that's supposed to look like. <laughs> I thought it was part of that plant. I'll leave that alone for now. I don't even know what the hell that's supposed to be. Oh, that's part of the sand castle. I was able to get that one. Oh, that's probably the ears. That's probably part of it as well. Nope, that's a tree. And where does this go? Your guess is as good as my. Oh, there we go. Never mind, I was able to figure it out. Ah, never mind. We'll just do this part. That's part of the swing. You do realize that the more puzzles I do in a video it means there's actually less videos in the entire playlist itself. So that can be seen as a good thing or a bad thing depending on your perspective. You can see it however way you want. Is this supposed to go? I can't tell yet. I don't know where that went. Oh, that's the bunny itself. Let me do it with this border piece for now. It's also part of the bunny. Okay, so far so good. Making a ton of progress here. Still a few border pieces right in the mix. Let me take that one right now. Actually seeing the alphabet mixed right in here as well. Done. Okay. What the hell is this piece supposed to be? Oh, never mind. 
I always usually find myself saying that, but now I find it out right away. It's like, it doesn't make sense for a while, but as soon as you get over there... Oh, never mind, it actually does make perfect sense. Oh, it goes over here, of course. There was a lot of white. Okay, we're getting through it. There's a little bit left. Um, oh, never mind. Still a little bit of void around here. And that's probably part of the tree. Good. The more puzzles you do, the more things you actually start to see mentally. I don't know about you, but I have a feeling that if I fell for that swing, I'd be reading my own obituary. But that's just me, though. Oh, and I can go to the bookstore. I think the bookstore is actually going to be the final area. So, I think we should just do one more puzzle. Actually, we'll probably do the minigame after this as well. Because the minigame will just be short. Luckily, this puzzle is pretty easy. Once you deal with a lot of 64-piece puzzles, the 36 ones are not so bad. You can just skim right by them, given how big the pieces are now. Uh, oh yeah, that's a hat. Gotcha. And that's a little freak's face. I know, I call him a freak. Get over it. It's not a real person. Speaking of freak, what the hell is that thing supposed to be? Hey, look at it. Look at the ears. Oh, that's probably just a Easter bunny. Fair enough. They're making Easter bunnies look more fairy-ish. Have you noticed that in some of these puzzles? Look at the artwork for these Easter bunnies. Almost like fairies or elves. Maybe that's what they were in some urban legends. Or fairy tales, rather. Urban legends just sounds like something that's based on a true story or something to do with murders. I don't think any Easter bunnies were involved in murders. Well, not actual Easter bunnies. Maybe people dressed as Easter bunnies. But, you know, not actual Easter bunnies. It's like, I got you some eggs for your death! Seriously, that would just be total nightmare fuel. If you had an Easter bunny that had, like, a, a basket full of, you know, like, tape and a shovel. and I don't know. I'm just not going further. Okay, we're almost done with this puzzle. Done. Wow. Two minutes and eleven seconds. Is the game going in real time? Or maybe the seconds are just like lagging a bit shorter. Or longer, I rather. I just don't know anymore. Okay, once we do this, we'll call it an episode. Oh, again, just catching the Easter eggs. Since this is level seven, we gotta catch a lot of eggs. Oh, 25. But wasn't that 25 last time as well? Okay, the eggs are actually coming fast and furious. I think you get a little bit more forgiveness if you actually catch them inside you rather than outside you. Oh, God. Like, some of them are just placed to the point you can't catch both of them at all, no matter how hard you try. I got like eight left, seven left. What does that poster say? Festa? 
Is that supposed to be Spanish or Portuguese? I have a feeling this game was made in Europe. I'm not sure. But yet, it had a North American release, apparently. Huh. Okay, 17 out of 24. Damn. Only got very few left. So in the next episode, hopefully it'll be the last one. See everybody. Thanks for watching.